guys welcome back to my channel so for this week's bye or goodbye video I am going to be testing out the new Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation so if you want to know what I think about this product keep on watching okay so some facts about this product it is $25 for 0.32 ounces it's supposed to be a medium to full coverage stick foundation it's highly pigmented, buildable, creates a natural looking matte finish. So it says that this is for all skin tones and that it's for combination to oily skin types, which I'm oily skinned. And also this is the first uh, foundation from Anastasia. And I've actually never tried foundation before. If you know me, I'm all about the BB creams. I don't like the way foundation feels on my skin. I feel like it feels really heavy and it feels like a mask. And I really don't like that. And I like more kind of like a natural look. So hopefully this foundation will feel like a BB cream and won't feel like a normal gross foundation, which I don't like. Okay, so let's get to testing this, shall we? This is the box right here, if you're wondering. I am in the color natural. That's what it looks like. It's literally a stick foundation foundation in stick form, which I've never tried a stick foundation before, so I'm really excited to try this product out. So let me stop talking and let's put this on my face. So I don't put any... um primer on my face so I'm not gonna do that with stick foundations I've seen that like beauty blenders and like beauty sponges don't work too well with kind of um, spreading out the product so I'm just going to use this real techniques brush I don't know what it's a, it's like a dense kind of soft brush if you're wondering I am just going to put this on my face in places that I need it, which is everywhere. I don't even, I'm just like drawing re weird designs on my face. I really don't know how much I need. Also, the cool thing about this product is you can get a darker or lighter color, so you can contour and highlight with it, which I think is pretty neat. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush and distribute the product on my face so it's blending out pretty nicely if I do say so myself pretty effortlessly <laughs> Alright, so I finished putting the foundation on and it was really easy to blend out. It was pretty effortless. It feels really lightweight on the skin, like it feels like I'm not wearing anything on my skin. It definitely doesn't hide your pores or anything like that, but I think it looks pretty natural for a foundation. I do want to say that it doesn't look as natural as like my BB creams or anything like that. I'm just sorry, I'm just like looking at myself like... Huh. but my skin looks like really velvety and really porcelain like so I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and I'll do some check-ins with you guys and I'll do some close-ups so yes all right so I finished putting on all my makeup and there's no problems with blending out blush or concealer or highlighter or anything like that it looks good so far it's matte it's pretty it makes my skin look very velvety also I just wanted to show you yesterday which was the 10th of September I went to Sephora and if you spend $35 or more and you're a VIB member they gave you this little pouch with some goodies in it so let's look we got the L'Oreal Hypnose Drama Mascara, which I've heard some good things about it, so I'm excited to try that out. This Clarins Paris Lifts Visage Serum. Then we got a Dr. Branded, Brand, I, I don't know how to say it, Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. And then we got the Sephora little eye makeup remover. There's some of this, like, Clinique. 
they give you three little samples of some moisturizer. So they got the Rich Cream, Lotion Plus, and Oil Free Gel for different skin types. The Oil Free is good for oily skin. Lotion Plus is good for dry to combo skin. And then the Rich Cream is good for like super dry skin. We got a sample of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her little perfume. Then I got the Estee Edit, some little lipsticks. Last thing we got is the Kat Von D little mini eyeliner in Mad Max Brown. And also, I want to show you in natural lighting what this looks like. Because I know, like, you know, with all the fancy lighting, things can look a little skew. Like, you look beautiful when in real life you look like you know, monster. I'm in natural lighting right now to show you guys what it looks like so you can get a better idea of how this is on my face right now. So I'm going to try and zoom in. I really don't know what I'm doing right now because I can't see like what's going on. I think it looks pretty nice. I think it looks pretty natural for foundation. Yeah. Hello, Earthlings. I am back. So it's 2.05 o'clock, 2.05 o'clock. For my second check in on this foundation also i curled my hair because i felt like it okay foundation i think it's looking pretty freaking good um two hours which it has been two hours did i say that i don't know but usually when it hits like two hours i gotta blot my face but my face really is not that greasy or 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 or, 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 or oily I didn't retouch it or nothing like it's hanging in there the only thing that I notice about this foundation though is that around my nose area I have like really like my nose is really dry for some reason so I have like some dry skins and some dry pieces I don't even know but the foundation is clinging on to the dry patches on my nose which means that if you have dry skin or if you have if dry patches is a problem for you i do not think that this foundation is going to work for you you are not gonna like it so just stay away okay stay away i'm liking it still so far it's not breaking down it doesn't look bad it's not getting oily so i will see you in about a couple more hours and tell you my conclusions of this foundation congratulations you have made it to the final check-in of the day so it's 405 it's been two more hours and i'm looking a bit greasy looking a bit gross so i'm going to blot my face with blotting paper so you don't have to look at this monstrosity my final thoughts on this Anastasia stick foundation is that I like it. I think that it is a buy. You should definitely look into it if you're oily to combo skin. It's really easy to apply. It's so creamy. It blends out like a dream. They have a lot of colors in their selection. It's very lightweight on the skin. I don't like foundation and I like this foundation a lot. I don't think that this is a medium to high coverage. I think this is more of a light medium coverage to a medium coverage. You can definitely build it up without a doubt. You can put concealer on. But I don't think that this is like a super high coverage foundation. So you might not be into that. But it's creamy. It's blendable. It's fairly inexpensive for what it is. And I just kind of love the concept of a stick foundation i feel like it's you know really easy to just apply and go also with the oil control i think that that is probably where it is the best for me because you know i didn't have to blot my face for until four hours and i usually have to blot my face in half that time and I just think that's amazing, like if you're going out, if you're going clubbing, or if you have to wear your makeup for a long period of time. I definitely do think that this is a amazing foundation for that if you want your skin to look very light, uh, very flawless, but also a very kind of light feeling on the skin. I think it's awesome. I don't recommend this for dry skin types, though. I'm impressed. I think that will be my catchphrase for this whole series is that 
I am impressed with this product. So I definitely recommend it. I like it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.